What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are here in Milan, Italy, in Euro Truck Sim 2. We are jumping over from the U.S. and we're heading over to the Europe's. And we're going to be driving a little bit here in Euro Truck Sim. This is the first time this has been on the channel. And this is my Volvo. I believe this is a 700. Yep, Volvo 700. Um, and it's painted up, you know, in, in the more freedom colors. We got we got all sorts of things on here. Uh, definitely a cab over. That's what they drive over here in the ETS too. So we're going to be taking a load of canned beef from Milan to Stuttgart, Germany. I know I'm I'm very much butchering all that, so I apologize in advance. Uh, I am not good with European city names. I'm not great with U.S. city names. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to drive this up there. It's going to take us through Italy, through uh, Switzerland, and up into Germany. So let's just jump into the truck. Let's just get going. We've already got our load, and we're ready to go. All right, drop that parking brake and head on out. One of the things that you can see is they definitely have a lot more cabin things Turn left. for Euro truck sim than they do American truck sim. Uh, so you can see I've got my Volvo I don't know what that is. Window rug? Tassel thing? I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got one of those hanging up. Take this got my exit. Volvo things on the front windshield. And I even have a Volvo thing in the back where the uh, sleeper is. So Exit down. Yes, we have definitely entered the land of the roundabouts. It should not be Europe. It should just be the land of the roundabouts. Get out here before we get stuck in any more traffic. Exit down. For those of you that are new to Euro Truck Sim 2, I have to say, you know, for this game, it is pretty fantastic. It, they have done such a wonderful Steady job left. on this game, you know, as well as uh, American Truck Sim. But this one, they have so many roads, so many cities. They have done a wonderful job over here in Europe on this. I mean, obviously, SCS is based in Europe anyway, but. Um, it is, they've just done a very, very, very good job. As of this video, they're working on part of Russia to take us into Russia. I don't know how far it's going to go, but it's already on my wish list on Steam. I will be picking it up. I definitely need to get back into trucking and Euro Trucks M2. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've spent enough money on it that I should. So, I was going to, there is the uh, Thrustmaster community event going on right now. I was going to do that, but the load was very, very far away, and I didn't want to drive. It was, I don't know, about a thousand miles or something like that. I didn't really want to drive a thousand miles. I'll stay right. We are getting on and there. right. Exit right. They don't have much as far as Jake brakes go on these semis. I am not, I have not configured the wheel to play on Euro Truck Sim yet, so I'm still running my controller here, so you'll see a little bit of <laughs> what I would call controller steering going on here so 
technically I guess my speed limit's 50. I don't really know how fast I'm going. It's 50 miles an hour. I don't know, I'm going 100 kilometers, I guess. I don't know. We're just sending her. Now, can I go through this over here? I don't think I can. I cannot. So I knew there was some that you could go through. I think that you can go through that you don't have to stop, but I'm not sure. And I didn't really want to run into it. The land of roundabouts and toll booths. here in the U.S. I think we call it, we, I mean, the toll roads, but um, I think we call them parkways, something like that as well. Turnpike, that's what it is, not parkway, turnpike. It took me a minute because I was thinking uh, the Pennsylvania Turnpike and then, you know, also Oklahoma is known as the land of turnpikes because I think most of their roads or toll roads. I know here in Indiana they've been talking about doing, they actually passed a bill that was basically every road could be a toll road, which is not awesome. Oh, here we are. We are out of Italy and into Switzerland. Ooh, what do we got up here? What's this? I don't even know. Birds. Hot air balloons. I don't know. We're going about 70-ish. I couldn't imagine driving a semi in, in Europe and only being able to go 50 miles an hour or 55 the entire time. That would not be, especially if you're traveling great, great distances. That would just take forever. I mean, maybe you're used to it over there. Especially, I mean, the cars can go. I don't know how fast the car speed limit is right now. It's, I haven't seen a speed limit sign in a little bit. I kind of wanted to jump. I was wanting to see. Don't mind my driving. I was, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching the scenery here. That's super cool. Okay, so the speed limit for cars is 100. We're currently going 75. That's kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. Pass this guy. unsure of what some of these road signs mean because you know obviously not European <clears throat> I believe we're going up we must be going uphill because I am not getting any kind of go straight you know traction on any of these trucks Sixty-three miles an hour, that's how fast we're going at a hundred kilometers. Oh, we're gonna stay in this lane. Woo! We 
are we're out of control here. We're out of control. This is fine. It's fine. I'm still getting used to this. I think I have my sensitivity turned up a little too high, but that's all right. Got to make slight movements. Slight movements. Go straight. I'm sure that family's fine. It's fine. Look at that. Very cool. Come on now, come on now. It's okay. Oh, okay. whoa. Oh, we're doing a crossover. Ah, okay, that's cool. That's cool. still don't have random road events turned on, so that's actually part of the map. And I know, like, I I remember back when they were doing construction on the Coastal Highway, the PCH, and they were doing the construction in American Truck Sim as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then once they had that open, they reopened it in American Truck Sim. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this correctly. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're only going 75 kilometers here. Poking along. I guess we're saving gas because we're just coasting. Well, that's fine. That's nice. Euro Truck Sim, my level is only like in, I think I'm only in the 20s here. I don't think I've hit, I, I haven't hit the high enough level to get the Volvo 750. So I think that's my next purchase is the Volvo 750. is because, you know, I don't know, I didn't like any of the other trucks. So Volvo it was. Oh, well, we're really, we're smashing now. Like we've got 120. <laughs> Excuse me. Ikea. No, Ica. I don't know. There are some guys that I've watched on Twitch that do truck across Europe and they do live streaming of them trucking across Europe, which I think is cool. And also the fact that they have cell phone signal enough that they can truck across Europe and broadcast to Twitch. Here in the U.S., we definitely don't have 
good enough coverage across the entirety of the U.S. to be able to do that. We don't even have good enough coverage across the entirety of Indiana to do that. down just a touch. Oh, we can throw on our brights. Can't really see them here. Because we get about 45 lights on the front of our truck. Go straight. Stuttgart. I didn't take German in high school. So... No idea how to pronounce that. Stute. Stay Garth. right, and then exit right. But we're almost there, so that's all right. Exit right. I don't ever remember getting into Germany. Maybe we, maybe we were under the mountain when we went into Germany, because I didn't see the flags. I'm assuming we were in Turn Germany. Back. Definitely our Volvo stuff is all lighted up now. Making sure our brights weren't on. stop up here I guess which is pretty cool I do like some of the things that they do over here where they have and I, I don't know if this is true to life or if it's just in the game where they have gas stations and stuff like this just right off the highway which would make it very convenient you know I'm actually hit the wrong button on that I meant to redo my cruise control and accidentally hit the uh, <laughs> the hazard lights. One thing I don't have turned on over here on this NETS, I don't have my developer options turned on, so I can't get out of the truck. At any time, which would be a, a, a great feature, just to be able to get out of the truck and do like pre-truck inspections, you know, things like that. And then that's super, super dark. Um, it would be good for you know just walking around a little bit. I 
also don't have so one of the other things I use it for is changing the time which is handy like if we do convoys it's always nice to change the time so it's in daytime when you're running your loads still we yeah my sensitivity is up really really high oh my steering wheel that is what that sign meant. 1,200 meters? Don't know. I mean, I could go to the internets, I guess, and learn what all that means. the sound of these trucks, even though they're not the same as American trucks, they still sound really good. The sound of the diesel engine is just, yeah, I like how it sounds here. Get a little bit of that turbo whine in there too. Oh yeah, there's our brights. The other thing I turn off in most of my, in, in both of these games, is I turn off the fatigue simu right. simulation. Then exit right. Over here in the right hand lane. Um, so I have exit right. traffic events turned off. Oh, this would be slow down Turn right. I have tra ra random road and traffic events turned off. I have the traffic offenses turned off. And I have, what was the other one? I was just talking about it. Yeah, you know, lost my train of thought. Weather, have the weather turned off. I hate when I do that where I'm just driving along or whatever. Just, you Stay know. right. This time I was just driving along and I'm like, oh, I was talking about something. Completely forgot. It's nice, lovely. Good job. Exit right. Good job, NM. Gotta keep her going there, bud. Gotta keep her going. He's holding some skinny as it looks like. And I only know that because I see the word on the back of the semi. Not because I know my European semis by any means. Get ready to turn left. Nope. Back over in the left-hand lane. There it is. You can see my Volvos in there. My Volvos everywhere. I do like that you can add just copious amounts of lights to all your semis and everything else in this game. <laughs> Alright, 
Can we back this in? Can we back this in? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. We can do it. We can do it. Nope, we're going to back this bad boy in here. I believe this trailer has steerable wheels on the back, so it makes it easier to turn. Easier? It kind of, it may throw you off a little bit. I have to say that the definitely back up easier than ATS trucks. Now, nope, get her in there straight. Right on back. And we're in there. All right. Let's see what we got. 350 miles, 7 hours, 50, 54 minutes, 47.9 gallons of fuel for a whopping total of 16,570 pounds. Because I'm using the British version, so I think that's pounds. But anyway, we'll take it. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching our first episode here of Ameri or Euro Truck Sim. So used to play an American Truck Sim, but thank you so much for hanging out, playing our first episode of Euro Truck Sim here on the channel. And hopefully I'll be able to get some more out for this one. I really like ETS too. So again, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next episode.